Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm fine. How are you? I'm good and I'm finally here at Tribal Asia. <laughs> and wow, look at your place. It's thank beautiful. you, thank you. Show me around. Okay, All I'm right. going to give you a little bit of introduction. Uh -huh. Okay, so what we do is actually we create products, formulate products without chemicals. Without chemicals? So yeah, without chemicals. And we use a lot of natural herbs, botanicals and mm. Ayurvedic ingredients. Oh, so we have nice. our skincare range. Uh -huh. um, in skincare range, we have from cleansers, toners, moisturizers, masks, etc, etc. Right. Right now, in, right now, apart from products, we are also uh, do have services. Oh, okay. Services. So services is like facial treatments is our core uh -huh. service. We have hair treatments and then we have uh, body polishing, body wow. whitening. Okay. So yeah, the whole works. Now I don't know what Travel Asia is, but I would love to know about the person behind Travel Asia. You. Definitely. So sure. can I get to know you more? Yes, of course. Let's Come. go. Hi Shoba, thank you so much for having us here today. Well, I was just walking around and I've seen that Tribal Asia has come up with a wide range of beauty products. But I'm very, but I'm very curious to know where did all this start? Hi Jasmine. Well, yeah, it's been a long journey actually. Um, when you ask me where it all started, mm. I would say actually I'm uh, from accounting background. Oh really? Yeah, I'm oh. an accounting graduate and I was working uh, for some firms. Mm. But I just felt that that wasn't my passion and I just felt that um, I wanted to be in my own business. So we started with a promoting kind of job. I started um, where you actually clean the desk, clean the products, clean the tables, the shelves because we, you know, they were open in um, retail outlets. So shift jobs and all this. So it was kind of nice, kind of challenging, but yeah, it was good. That was how I started. My um, passion grew further into uh, products with less chemicals. Yes, I think I can more, tell that, yes. More herbal, more botanical uh, based. So um, all this experience actually helped me to come up with my own uh, range of products, which is Tribal Asia today. So how old is Tribal Asia now? Tribal Asia in Brickfields, in this retail outlet, we have um, started it in 2013. So having to know your journey about how you began as a promoter and then you had to change like your careers just to reach where you are today. I'm sure you faced a lot of challenges, especially being a woman. It's definitely not easy. Would you tell me some of your experiences or challenges that you faced? Yeah, definitely. Lots of challenges. Um, in fact, when I think about those challenges, I'm just like, are you going to leave a professional um, job to do the, something like this? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? So there were a lot of doubts. So I put it under the belief category. When you are new, you're starting something, uh, not everyone understands uh, your, your journey, right? Of course. So they, there were a lot of discouragement initially. I think because people care for you. Was it your family or your friends? Uh, first and foremost, obviously family members. Okay. okay. And then of course, friends. And then there were a lot of uh, people like waiting to watch the fun as well. So it's like Surprise. when you don't have people supporting you in your belief level, mm -hmm. which I think is the core, right? Yes, of course. Um, that one is really a, a very big challenge. So Shoba, what kind of qualities have you adapt in yourself to face these kind of challenges? Okay, number one, I think it's um, you got to believe in yourself 100%. Right. And then you have to put in effort, mm -hmm. a lot of hard work and effort, and um, most importantly, patience. Mm -hmm. You know, you need to be stable. You need to be yes. like... Um, you know, stable and focused. So these are the kind of qualities I think I have adopted and the discipline. Like when you have so many things to do in a day, you always need to prioritize That's true. and then you do your homework and then you deal with your customers. So a lot of discipline is involved. So this industry is really huge. So what challenges do you think women in general, they uh, go through? I think a lot of women today are actually um, interested to, to come into business, whether it's part-time or full-time or homegrown business. Mm -hmm. So like I said, as women, we have different parts to play. And sometimes I think time is one of the, the biggest criteria, especially if you imagine a woman who's married and who has kids. So you've got to take care of your personal front. That's very important for a lady, mm -hmm. contrary to guys who just focus on their that's, jobs. That's, that's true. Right? Yeah. So, but that's, that's our role. That's what we are expected to do. And I think that's what we feel happiest doing as well. So today, uh, with this brand here, I'm meeting so many different women and we're also giving them opportunities uh, yes. and talks about business, like how they can explore what they're really passionate about. Mm. So you've got this one life, you try and live it to the fullest. And that's, that's something to take note of. That's, yes. yeah, that's really important. So you have so much going on, but how do you balance 
between your personal life and also your work. <laughs> okay, um, I get this a lot of time with a yeah. lot of people out there also. Anything you ask them, you say, I'm busy, I'm busy. So yeah, it is hectic, it is a busy lifestyle. But my one question and one answer to that would be, you're busy, but does that busyness matter? Is it bringing you closer to your dreams, to your goals? If then, yes, then of course you'll be busy. Uh, in my case, I would say, like, I play a di- different roles as a woman, as a mm-hmm. mom and all this. Um, I always try to, to arrange my time prior. So, as I said, prioritize your work. Yeah. You know, prioritize your work. And it's not every day you got to do the same kind of thing. That's true. Like today, if I'm uh, talking about uh, my products and talking to c- um, customers, then tomorrow it could be I'm talking about marketing to my distributors. And the day after, maybe with my suppliers. It's because it's very important to set what's important. Correct. Yeah. And then one day, it's probably just going in for formulation and how to improve the quality. And one day, it's like taking care of all your customers' uh, you know, feedbacks and things like that. I'm very inspired what you had to tell me today. And I'm sure people out there are inspired as well. So what is the advice you would like to give to the young female entrepreneurs out there? So my advice to these women in a nutshell, believe in your services or products. Believe that it will come up. Mm-hmm. Okay, It's a matter of time. But your journey from A to B, a lot of perseverance patience and tolerance and you can really really achieve Hmm. so patience setting your goals right and taking it seriously absolutely very important absolutely all right thank you so much for having us here today it is my pleasure i had a lot to learn about uh, from you and thank you so much